As you can see, I have a very captive audience today. Uh, that's because our treat today is cucumbers! <laughs> I've always been obsessed with cucumbers. I put them in my water, I eat them. They're delicious. These are really sweet. They're from a farmer's market. They're really sweet. As you can see, Chloe Beast, who is naked today, that's okay. It's a warm California day and usually when it gets too warm, it's actually, it's not, it's not too warm. I, I should correct myself. Usually when it gets about 75 or above, I uh, try to keep Chloe out of her clothes. We do have a nice ocean breeze though. We live fairly close to the ocean. It's finally spring, so hopefully you guys are getting some warmer weather. Did you guys see that? <laughs> she, she just spit out her cucumber. <laughs> I'm dubbing today's Five Things We Pug Love the Two Broke Girls edition. Simply because after taxes this year, Mr. Taxman really stuck it to us. We're gonna be broke for the next several months, maybe even the next year. But that doesn't mean that we have to forego our style. There are some alternatives to having expensive taste. We're going to start things off by talking about something very near and dear to my heart, shoes. Many, many, many years ago, my younger sister turned me on to a website called gojane.com and I'm not usually one for cheap shoes. I'm actually very particular about my shoes. But seeing that I don't have a lot of money this spring, but I still wanted to do a little bit of shopping, I decided to go on to uh, gojean.com this spring just to see what they had. And boy was I surprised at what I found. Not only did they have a really great selection of all different colors and styles of shoes, but they were incredibly cheap, super inexpensive, really, really great prices. So of course I had to get myself a few pairs. So the first pair of shoes that I got were these strappy uh, sandals that are really popular again this year. They were actually really trendy last year and I did get a few pairs last year. Um, but this year I really wanted a few pairs of white and you've seen me wear the teal ones as well. They are cheap. These were, gosh, I think these were $15, but I'll double check on that for you. I don't normally enjoy cheap shoes, um, but for something like this, um, I mean, they're super cute. They're not the most comfortable pair of shoes, but they're not bad. The one thing that I would recommend if you're going to uh, get cheap sandals like this, um, I put an insole into them. Um, you can get this insole for pretty cheap at uh, any place, Target, Walmart. But it's like a, an anti-slip and it's kind of cushy too. So it makes sure that, that your uh, feet don't slip and slide and that your toes don't keep sliding out of the end of your shoes. The other shoes that I really enjoyed getting were this bubblegum colored pair of heels. So once again, they're kind of cheap, but I don't know, they're super cute on. 
They're not real comfortable, but once again, you can just put like a little insole in them. They run a little bit big, so normally I'm a size uh, eight and a half, and an eight and a half was way too big for me, so size eight was perfect. I got a few pair of shoes that ranged anywhere from literally $10. I think the most expensive pair that I got from gojing.com were $23. So be sure to check out gojing.com if you want some cheap shoes. is something I've been doing my entire life, which is thrift shopping, which I absolutely love. I love it for a couple reasons. The first is that it challenges me to be creative. So when you go into a thrift store and I'm digging through things, sometimes I come upon pieces that are unexpectedly so cool but it like I said it kind of challenges me to really think about how I would wear each piece something like this um, caramel colored leather skirt is a gem to find in a thrift store um, but you have to you have to look you have to kind of dig deep with thrift stores the next obvious reason why I love thrifting is because you can get some serious deals. <laughs> uh, there are some places, um, just depending on where you live, where you can get t-shirts for like $5. And some of them are really cool vintage. Um, even graphic tees are still really cool. Um, yeah, so cheap challenging, cool stuff. I love thrifting. <laughs> Something else I've been really obsessed with this year, and it's kind of continued from 2014, uh, the end of 2014 through this spring, are statement necklaces. And I'm not actually, I'm not wearing a statement necklace today. I'm kind of going subdued today, but I actually really love this necklace too. Uh, but statement necklaces have been a staple part of more my wardrobe this spring and surprisingly I found some really cheap places to get statement necklaces. So here's my rundown of where to get statement necklaces. Surprisingly I have found the best, and I'm cautious about saying this, so don't judge me. <laughs> Surprisingly, I found some of the best necklaces at Walmart, of all places. So earlier this spring, probably about, gosh, maybe about four or five weeks ago, I was just waltzing through Walmart, getting my shaving cream, and getting my deodorant, and I just happened to mosey into the jewelry section, all of their statement necklaces were three to five dollars. Yes, three, three to five dollars. So I stocked up on a whole bunch. So you'll see actually in my coming um, outfits for the next several weeks, a lot of those statement necklaces have come from Walmart. <laughs> so check it out if you want to. No big <laughs> And what would a five things sweet pug love be without talking just for a moment about Chloe Beezy's fashion? Although we've talked a little bit before about how I repurpose a lot of my old clothes into Chloe Beezy dresses, there's another alternative because not everybody can reuse things from their closet um, and I don't want to tear up everything in my closet just to make her a nice dress 
So the other alternative that I found um, that works really, really well for little doggy dresses are um, fabric remnants. So I got this one from Joanne Fabric, my local Joanne Fabric. You can get them at any of any one of your local uh, fabric stores, and they're basically just the the remnants that can't be used for anything else. But they happen to be almost always perfect sizes for making. Oh, excuse you. Chloe just burped up her cucumbers. <laughs> They're a perfect size for making donkey dresses. Um, and they're really cheap too. This is tulle, uh, which normally is, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not cheap by any means, but I got this for less than $2, about a buck 50 for, um, enough that will make her a cute little, uh, tulle gray skirt. So, uh, if you are on a budget, don't forget to, uh, check your, uh, local fabric store and see if they have any fabric remnants that you can use. Hey, don't chew that. This to chew? Did you see that? <laughs> this is for chewing. And the final thing we pug love this week, which by no means has anything to do with our broke girls theme are the Pugdashians on Instagram who by the way are selling not that they're cheap but they're selling inexpensive totally adorable necklaces you have to check them out Chloe Beast who's gonna get one I might even wear one <laughs> it might be my next statement necklace it's funny because Chloe has the same neck size as me. So I say that half jokingly, but we really might be sharing a necklace. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. The point is the Pugdashians are so cute, super stylish, crack me up. They're so, so funny. If you're not following them, you absolutely have to. You'll get a giggle every day if you follow them. Well, I suppose that does it for this week and this sleepy little bunch. I think I might go take a nap with them now. They've sufficiently made me sleepy. It's siesta time. Don't forget to follow us on social media. And until we meet again, have a stylish, busy day. Mm -hmm.